I'm sure we all getting into this very common position with same side castle king and we are supposed to attack faster than the other player. So I'm just coach here guys, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you find the information useful and let's proceed now with our lesson for our beginner, novice, intermediates and maybe just some kind of reminder for those that are definitely stronger and may or may not need these ideas that I'm going to share with you today. So attacking the same castle king. Now some general ideas here. Uh, you may need in some circumstances to bring about more attackers to get more pieces into the attack in order to be more successful. Another idea, uh, it could be also quite common that you need to sacrifice a piece, especially in the Greek gift. So there is a video on the Greek gift as well. If you want to go back in the archive, you're going to find it there. Um, and sometimes you just need to weaken the opponent's king by challenging the pawns shielding the king like we're having in this position right now on the screen uh, we're ready to start the attack uh, we already got four pieces ready to march on and attack the king so now we're going to play something like f6 what does that mean we attack the bishop and also we're challenging the g7 that move can't get just ignored they can't just ignore it they need to react to this obviously bishop can't take because pawn takes back and they already lost they should resign so they take with a pawn what do we do now we take back obviously with a pawn rook defends the pawn bishop must move away and when they move away unfortunately for our opponent now we play a move like bishop h6 which already asks the question to the rook they either uh, lose the rook and even if they don't move the rook there is something more more lethal which is queen to g4 king is in check goes in a corner queen g7 checkmate black at this stage should just simply resign the next one guys how do we attack this uh, position here? Pause it for a couple of minutes, guys, if you need uh, um, to contemplate it a bit more. And we're going to play something, queen to c2 to a4. And you may wonder why on earth would I play this? Why would I disaffect my beautiful battery and go over to a4? It's because the queen would like, potentially, if possible, to make even a more efficient battery or a more a better column way of attacking namely could be g4 for instance and if you watch the queen to g4 being positioned and the g7 square combined with the bishop it could be quite deadly okay and even bishop f6 it won't work in that circumstance because bishop takes and pawn is pinned by the same queen so amongst others queen to a4 is an improvement of the queen's position that's what we call it in chess improve your attack Okay, so queen to a4, again, the aim could be also not just queen to g4, my friends, but it's also queen to e4, which is another devastating attempt here to checkmate on the h7. So let's assume uh, black replies with the rook f to d8, and now queen to e4, devastating uh, attack on the king side look at all those powerful bishop and bishop and queen battery and everything they try to uh, put in order to stopping you further weakens your uh, their shield protecting the king because h6 will be completely completely weak and it's a disaster black is actually in trouble here so if g6 were to happen we're moving now queen to g4 and there are so many attacking ideas here even if you think about bishop to g6 and then pawn takes and queen takes and check with again help from the bishop it's quite quite fatal for uh, opponent's king here big trouble and look at the active bishops queen and knight ready to joining the attack so not even this helps because you're going to drop the queen and again we do have the danger of bishop captures on g6 and when they take it could be also queen captures on e6 check to the king so a lot of attacking power queen took on c5 what are we supposed to do well 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 we already go with an aggressive knight sacrifice knight to g7 and you may wonder wait a second but what if they take they very well might take but after queen f6 we're winning an important tempo 
tempo, checking the Black King. The Black King has to move. You've got it, guys. There is only the G8 available for the King. And then we could play something like a Rook left. And then, guys, you're going to tell me which one is faster, you reckon, guys? Is it Rook F to E? You need one, two, and three. Or is it Rook B3 and then straight away for the kill? Also, we always need to choose the shortest way, the most efficient way to deploying our forces and attacking our opponent. And Rook B3, Rook G3 only needs two tempi to checkmate the Black King. So, well, they could delay it very well with something like Bishop G4, but that can't really be accounted for because it's just a delay. The same inexorable result would be delivering checkmate oh, that's not gonna help with anything rook g3 pins the bishop absolutely nothing for them to do in order to be saving it i mean there's nothing okay there is absolutely nothing here even if the black queen is desperate to try to even if you consider queen to g5 would be a check it has to go in a corner and then you're going to be collecting the bishop in the easiest way possible so black should resign Black should absolutely resign at this stage. Queen attacked with tempo. Queen f6 coming. Game over. Okay. Next position here. What do we do? We got a beautiful pin here to the queen. What do we uh, need to play in this position, guys? Let's have a look. Can we, can we make it a mess from our opponent's uh, pawns defending the king? Can we create some weaknesses uh, whatsoever? We might think about bishop f4, but there is something stronger here, guys. We are going to play f5 here, which actually opens up the rook attacking the f file and when we take we're actually bombarding the f3 with the bishop and increased with the rook so rather than taking which by the way if we if we take previously the queen would have taken back so it's not that strong but opening f7 with f5 this is definitely the best thing to do here when they capture we may just uh, very well taking back actually let's just put it to the test here so let's assume they capture back now we're going to take rook takes f5 uh enormous pressure here that one doesn't work because you're going to take and you're simply going to win the game the position guys okay we're going to go for another tutorial together here so what do we do as you can see guys there is enormous attacking power the knight targeting g2 h3 the bishop and the queen enormous 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 attacking power here guys and we're going to go now with the very deadly bishop captures on h3 first thing first and they will have to take back here and when they take back we capture with queen takes to h3 threatening directly queen g2 checkmate and this is this is hugely weakening the uh, opponent's king we're going to take with a queen and the threat is simply unstoppable queen to g2 cannot be stopped and also knight is hanging so that's a uh, that's a difficult position why it should resign this position here what do we need to play is there anything we can go for any any attacking power definitely there is we've got the knight to f5 very strategically being placed because the intent is very simply collaborating with the queen pressure on the d6 a lot of good stuff so that is definitely going to be winning crushing attack here for white again the g6 is not going to help with anything we're still going to play queen g5 regardless here so definitely winning big time okay what do we do here we gotta move like knight to g4 what does knight g4 do well we're going to get rid of the knight which is the defender of the h2 and if the knight disappears no more defense uh, for the h2 and queen together with the knight is more than enough to deliver checkmate that doesn't help because when we capture on f3 we actually take with tempo and we attack the queen with tempo right so when we capturing here uh, they have to react to this or the queen disappears and whatever they take with queen or pawn doesn't really help because we're going to take straight away all right my friends let's see here the last one that we are supposed to be playing in this position we've got the deadly queen to d3 uh super lethal battery here bishop b1 queen d3 
the checkmate is coming. Really, there's just not something uh, very good for them to play. Even if you consider now something like knight takes g6, f takes, queen takes, this is incredibly, incredibly difficult for black to survive this onslaught. And this is very bad, really, really, really bad. Uh, they might be blocking it. You've got all sorts of good stuff coming and it's incredibly difficult for them to survive it. And actually guys, here's the checkmate. So forget about the pin piece here we're talking about the queen to h7 which will further expose the king even more so the black king will uh, will get even more exposed to uh, our white attacking pieces so thank you very much for watching this short video guys remember get more pieces into the attack sometimes it's required to make a sacrifice in order to weaken the uh, uh, your opponent's uh, fortress king's fortress and uh, it should be it should be good news, guys, and you should be playing better than before. So thanks very much for watching this video, guys, and I hope I'll gonna I'm gonna see you on the next one.